Let's go, my name is Dave Geesing. Welcome to another episode of Escape from Tarkov. Why to bring it in in a different fashion today, starting a, a new epi. But let's just, let's just see what's been going on with our insurance for, we have so much insurance. So many insurance claims, so little individual areas to put it. So we got an AK-74U, we'll take that. I'm glad we're checking this when we did, because you... She has returned. That's not Jackie, but oh. Always insure your stuff. Let this be a lesson to us all. If you're not insured, your ham will not be cured, quote unquote. White true. Ah, uh, we should probably slide these down. Mm. Perfect. We're, so we're gonna we're definitely gonna be running into a uh, a storage problem, but that's a good thing. Well, Dan, why is that a good thing? Because we don't we don't have to spend any more ducats. Uh, here's a bit of an issue though. What do, what do we do in this this regard? We'll let's, let's just slam this in here real quick. One of these. We can't. All oh, those are not slammable. Mm. All right, let's slide this right here. Slide this up into the DM. Slide this there. He's done it. All right, so let's just see if there, what else is in here. I wonder if you can pump. So once you accept it, there's no turning back. I was, I was wondering if we could, like, pump fake them. Like, you know, pump fake them. But uh, let me let me, let me me tidy this up here. All right, we've tidied up our inventory. We're going to dial in right into the DMs, Dan. What do you mean by that? So here's the good thing. We've, we've got all this stuff that's available at our beck and call. Um, but what we are actually going to do, we're going to head, it's been a few episodes. We're not going to head back to woods just yet, but what we are going to do is head to our hometown. What's our hometown? Customs. Well, Dan, why would you do that? Reason being, we've got a, a level of comfort there, so we're going to get geared up very quickly. Uh, should we do, let's do a SKS run and throw a backpack in here. We'll get our ammo together, and I will see you in customs. Dial in. Here we go. Customs we spawned on the east side of the map. Super excited to get started here. Why? Well, Dan, why did you choose to spawn on the east side? That's a little bit opposite of where you normally go. I agree, but you want to know why? We wanted to go to Buckets. It's been a while. Buckets is on this side of the map. There is an extraction point right here. Speaking of extraction points... What's our guaranteed? Crossroads and trailer park. Good. I have high level of confidence in those. I'm feeling pretty good about the rain. You could be a little bit more noisy. <laughs> it's funny though. The, the comments continue to pour in. With well intended tips. And um, there's a wide variety of them. That I appreciate one of which, which I was completely un That's inside. That's in there. I was completely unaware. Uh oh. Oh, we're getting. There's some serious movement. Let's go! Made a little too much noise, my dude. One of one of the comments was, hey, the T-Fax heal and bandy up. Dude, this dude, what did he have? Sorry, Polish. Oh! No! No! He had the scab back. Always a lesson to be learned. There are lessons to be learned in greed. One of the lessons that you guys shared to me in the comments, as, or one of the tips says, Hey Dan, you should loot quickly and get out of there. 
I think I think we've learned it's it's a give and take. Now, taking back and John maddening the situation, the dude was clearly fighting and pointing at someone else. We took him down. I looked over there. I thought it might have been a scab. I didn't see a scab. We went in, got excited with copious amounts of loot. Got paid the iron price. What could we do different in the future? I do a better job scanning, surfacing, everything in between. <laughs> As a penalty, we are going back in with an SKS minus Suppy minus Scope. Life like in Tarkov, you don't you don't get everything you want. Sometimes it gets taken from you. And we a lesson that we learned a long time ago, you probably shouldn't be hanging out near spawn points. But if they happen to give you the same kind of ammo you need, we'll roll with it. Uh, once again, we spawned on the east side of the map. Um, we have one goal. I see one down there. Oh, there's two of them. They saw me. They saw me. Oh, jeez. Let's go. The other guy was a, was a hatchling. I think they went to... They went to split the flank. Okay, we got problems here. I, I gotta reload. Reload, you fool! Let's go. Oh, can you? Can we get? Can we get a second to breathe? Nah, we got a second to loot. This guy, what kind of crap did this guy have? Dan, did you learn nothing, Jon Snow? We've learned absolutely nothing. Pop that morphine. Pop it. Right. Are we reloaded? Oh. <laughs> If you don't want to play a highfalutin shooter, you might as well sit yourself in the front row. I mean, in the back row, because, uh... Let's go. Give me that TFAC. Because this game's about one thing. Staying frosted tipped at all moments. Like a John Mayer concert. So there was two... That dude with a pistol almost ended us. With Ghost Recon and not fly it, you guys can both find yourself in the front row. Actually, be the back row. Uh, we're using our T-back. Oh, so I don't know if I got it out, of, got the words out or not. What is that? What is this? Let's hurry up, Dan. A Ketter. What is that, like a kettlebell workout? I've never... That looks like a... We got to get out. Well, Tarky giveth and Tarky taketh away. They had to all be in cahoots. Man, this this place is spicy. I, I like it. I like the spice. But we better be on our P's and Q's. You think we're going in that? I don't think that's a downgrade. We took out three. We're, we're not going in with a non-scope boat S gas. We're going in with a scope. And the AK. And just for the record, we took out level 20 and level 30. In Tarki, much like in life, you gotta pick your yourself up by the donuts, get an AK, realize that you have a helmet, but you have no body armor. It, it wasn't from a lack of trying. How could we break down that last deal? 808s and heartbreaks. The last deal we should probably sit back and break down from an occasion of just greed. I mean, we we did we have not been assessing our situation at all. Granted, this is the first episode of a 
recordation session, but still, we should, we're, we're better than that. <laughs> Nonetheless, I hope it's made for some entertainment for you, for you individuals, part of the community. Um, Cause it's fun. I mean, even getting wiped like at 808s and 808s in hard breaks. Also, I don't know if we have the key to this. I don't know why that bomb keeps going off. But anyways, I st I'd like to unlock some of these. I mean, right now we're grasping at straws, right? We're, we're just trying to, we're trying to get a little mojo going. We don't have an unlock for that. All right, Dan, that's respawning. I think it's time to get out of here. I will say, I've learned a little something, something today. Spawning on the east side of the map is a war zone. We have to do it more often. Suppy shots somewhere? Sounds like to our right. Excuse me? What the heck? Dan, he must have some big time body armor. He does. Now it's time to get out. I know, I know, my, I know my levels of copious greed. I know, I know what we have is big time. I can tell you that right now. What we, what we've acquired is, is big time. Uh, we didn't pick up any of his ammo, but it's not good. We've got to get out of here. We have, we have to get out. I, I, I will accept nothing but full extraction. Just run for it, Marty. The single greatest loot of our generation right here. There's no greed. We are just extracting as soon as possible. Tarky giveth and Tarky taketh away. Dan, you're not being aware of your surroundings at all. We've got a we've got a master plan mapped out. It's called get out of here. Get the smuggler's boat, the closest deal. Oh, we got scopes. Let's go. I know this armor is really good because you guys let me know in the comments. Uh, we were playing a woods map, and I passed. Well, it was the hatchet run. And you said, Dan. That's the best armor in the game, and you got whacked right before you got a chance to pick it up. Um, I have not checked our health situation. But I think we stabilized. We do have another. Another set of painkillers. I just don't want to die here. Not like this. This is like, if you watch a Twitch live stream, we had our hands on a wallet. I feel like this is of that same caliber. It's just, I don't know what this is. You know, it's a, what, M4? I think we, we have one. We were given to it as a result of being a Christmas individual. I don't know what that means, but just get to the boat. Okay, Dan, let's talk ourselves through this right now. We're bleeding. Just because you want to get out of here doesn't mean you should abandon all hope, all honesty, all truth. Dan, I, I can sense by what you're saying you're nervous. I am. We're walking around. We are walking around. We didn't even loot that guy, to be honest, but <laughs> we're walking around. With a Bentley. We're driving around a Bentley with no insurance. We're used to driving a 2010 Ford Escape. And now you give me the keys to a Bentley with no insurance? You tell me to be careful? I'm going to be nervous. Not to mention one of the Bentley's wheels is where we're, we're operating 
with a spare. And that spare has a slow leak. I'm not looting that. Are you crazy? What are we going to get out of bag? We're not going to find an M4 with a 4X scopal on it. Oh, I thought that was someone. It was just, it was just a russet flower. You guys, I know I can sense it. I sense it in the future. You guys are just... If you're watching, you, I use clench. You, I mean, your heart, lungs, everything is just expending. And this can't be healthy. This game cannot be healthy to play. On a physiological level. I would love to... Get strapped up to some kind of monitor right now. That dude, that took all of our AK shots, too. Like, we pumped him? And then we pumped him some more, and it was barely enough. We didn't have body armor. It's... I can't. I can't. I can't. I, I. It was right there in front of us for the taking. Would you like a Bentley? All you have to do. Don't shoot anyone. Just back her out. Pull her into a nice safe parking spot. But nah. We drive by, we see someone, we hear someone have to jump on them. And we couldn't resist the greed. <laughs> on behalf of myself and on behalf of you, I, I, I feel like, like, do I apologize for that? Nonetheless, I, all I can hope in this series is that you take from this A, enjoyment, B, entertainment, and three, a lesson learned. Because if you do that, what I just did, there's no excuse for it. You, you saw the devastation. I don't want you to go through that devastation. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hitting a thumbs up button on this episode is a message to me that says, Dan, cut the grief. Just cut it out. Self-discipline. If you hit the like button and I see a, an overwhelming number of likes, it'll use it as a voting system. If you want me to learn from this, a like's the best way to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hi.